back, Mangles. Jimmy Primal here with another episode of All The Gear, No Idea. Today we're going to be looking at my Cuda Copter Trident 5000 fishing drone. I'm going to be showing you how easy it is for the average punter to set a fishing drone up ready to send baits. We're going to be looking at the rotor setup, the battery setup, the bait drop mechanism and the fucking navigation lights at the back. It's a simple, easy setup for the average punter that wants to get into drone fishing. If you're contemplating getting into drone fishing or have just bought, a fishing drone, this video is for you. I'm also gonna go through the charging setups I have for my lithium batteries. I've got two setups, 240 and 12 volt setups. We're gonna be having a look at them closely and show you how easy it is to get the batteries charged either up the beach or at home ready to go for the next morning. So stick around, Jimmy Primal, all the gear, no idea, strap yourself in. Battery one. Clip that bastard in there. Tuck it in nice and tight. And secure it with that back latch. Firm, hand tight. That's the battery installed. Navigation lights. Red, white. Many different functions. And these little bastards have their own battery system. Charge independently, separate to the drone. Easily attached to the foot of the drone. Just with that rubber clip. Not going anywhere. Nav lights, just like putting on a used condom. Pull it around, make sure it's tight, and you're good to go. Carbon fiber, Propellers, color coded gold and silver, opposite directional thread. You can't fuck it up. They come in one spare each of each color. Nice and easy, finger tight. You don't need to go any tighter than that. The power plug. This ignites the system. The drone will not function without this safety plug in the back. It can only go in one way. You can see the shape of it there. The power plug. So that right there, Mangles, is the bait drop mechanism that drops the bait with one press of the B on your remote. It's as easy as sliding the loop over the rope attached to your rig and then sliding the rig 
over the bait drop gimbal. With a little bit of weight on it, you press that B button, bait drop, bang, drops like a lead balloon, which you could actually have lead or a balloon on there. That's the bait drop gimbal. Easy to use. Bang, and she's down. And that drone is ready to fly. Okay, now that that drone's ready to go, let's have a look at these batteries. Here's a free tip. I number all my batteries. It saves the head fuck while you're out there trying to figure out which one's flat, which one's charged. I do the same with my GoPro batteries. I number the little pricks. Battery one. Let's have a look at the charging systems I've got for these lithium batteries. Okay, Mangles, now that we've looked at the drone setup, now we're gonna have a look at my charging systems for my lithium batteries. I'm gonna be looking at my two setups. I'm gonna look at the C1XR, and I'm gonna look at the UP610 Smart Charger 12 volt setup for up the beach. First of all, the C1XR. This is my 240 setup for charging at home the night before when I wanna get all my batteries pumped up, ready to go for the next day. The 240 setup, nice and easy, plug it in the back, Get in there, you fucking dog. Easy, slot it in, feed it in there. You plug that into your 240. There you go, power should come on. There you go, program select, LiPo batteries. You have a read through the instructions that come with the CL C1XR. And you go through and you set your parameters to the battery that you're charging. It's all in there, nice and easy. Six cell, um, 680 MAH. I don't know if that's milliamps per hour or mega amps per hour. Like I said, all the gear, no idea. I don't really give a fuck. I just press the same buttons in here. Once you've got your power on, you plug your battery in. Very easy to do. Color coded inserts, black on black. Red on red. The battery power port can only go one way. Slot the dog in. Your balance port. Line the little tabs up. You don't want to get it wrong. Nice and gentle here. Finesse. Treat it nice. Treat it right. There you go. Like a thumb and a bum when you get it right. Have a look at that. Right, that battery is plugged in, ready to go. Select your program. I've already got a preset for a six, six cell, five amp, or 5.0A, whatever. 5,000 mega amps. LiPo battery, balance charge, start. Checking battery, now that battery is charging like fuck. It's as easy as that. 22.7 volts, that's what the current battery status is. That's your amps going in, and that's how long it's been on charge. Let me just bang this light off. See if that helps. That, that didn't help at all, but oh, that helps. Righto, that's your display screen. Happy with that? Right, now we're gonna have a look at 12 volt. So very simple. Your 12 volt, you can take the C1XR up the beach, but it's a bigger unit, I use it for home. You plug your 12 volt input there, plug it in there, and that just goes into your old cigarette lighter socket right there. Stick it in, and away you go. Now, I don't like taking this one up the beach, I don't like taking it camping, I like leaving this one home. That's when the UP610 smart charger comes into it. Let's have a closer look at that. Okay, Mangle, so we had a look at the C1XR. Now let's have a closer look at the UP610 Smart Charger. This is the little guy that I take up the beach or take camping. I've got three batteries. I get about six drops per battery. So 18 drops is a lot on its own anyway. But when I'm camping up there, Stratty, Morton Island, this little guy, is the one that I take up there with me. I don't like to take the big fella, I leave him at home, and I like to take this one up there. It's a little beauty. So let me just show you how easy it is to get set up. 
12 volt charger straight to the car. Power input on the side. It's a lot smaller the plugs here compared to the C1XR. In that goes. Oh, oh. Right, 12 volt. This is a socket running from my car, the 100 series. This is the same power that I use up the beach. Plug that in. Oh, have a look at that. Oh, power on immediately. Have a look at that. So look at that. Zeros across the board because I don't have a battery plugged into it at the moment. So let's get the battery plugged in. Battery output right there. In you go, nice and easy. It only goes one way. It's got the rounded end at one end. See that? You can't fuck it up. That goes in there. Now your balance port. I'll see if you can see the tabs on there. See that? Those fucking tabs. Take it easy with them, line them up, and that should just slot in there like a finger in a bum. Have a look at that. All right, so now we've got the battery on there, 22.7 volts. That's ready to be charged. So it's pretty simple to use. You read the instructions, um, set the parameters according to the battery that you're charging. All the info is written on the battery. It's pretty easy. You go through the, go through the instruction um, documents that come with the box. And then it's as simple as pressing the button. Yep, there they are there. And then just toggle through and set them to suit the battery that you're charging. And also set the power input from the power that it's coming from being your Land Cruiser or fucking jump pack or whatever the fuck you're charging it with. So once, you set, once, you, once you're happy with your parameters, it's as simple as pressing start. And there you go, charging right there, perfect. There you go, Mangles, another episode of Jimmy Primal, all the gear, no idea. You probably didn't learn anything. You're probably thinking this cunt has no idea, but he does have all the gear. The, the Cuda Cop, the Triton 5000, we had a look at that. We had a look at my charging stations, the C1XR and the UP610 Smart Charger. That's my home base unit. That's the unit I'll take up the beach and camping. I love me drone. I thought I'd give you a little bit of drone porn, get you drooling, especially if you're looking to get into the game. It's a fucking exciting way to go fishing. I'm loving it. Um, if you liked the action on droning, there's more videos over here. Subscribe right here and over here, more land-based carnage. Please like, please subscribe, get mangled, mud crabs and mullets, Jimmy Promlin and chill. Thanks for watching. Ching.